today we're going to upgrade the Z end stop on the Maker Farm i3V style printers. Mine personally is a 12 inch by 12 inch by 13 inch. The printer, not my. Anyway, that's what we're going to be doing today, and uh, I'm going to change my shirt a couple times. So here are the parts side by side. As you can see, just slides right in. Then you run a cable tie through the two holes. pull and just keep rocking it back and forth as tight as it'll go you can leave it on there if you want I always trim excess off and you simply just got to take it and our little backer plate that we have left in there slap it on screw it down As it comes down, it'll click. It all will be good. Now for this, I'm gonna manually twist this down until it is at the correct position. For zero, Then I'm going to go ahead, press the end stop into place, and screw it down. Actually, I might need a shorter screw. Let me check and see what we have first. So it turns out I didn't have any shorter screws, so I just took a chunk off of a failed print and used it as a spacer and it worked out pretty good. I will fix this in the model so that it's at this distance so you can use the same screws as usual. Now after you know, kind of explaining this, I'm going to go ahead and test zero it and we're going to actually film that and see exactly where this clicks off. So that'll be interesting. It's going to work. I'm going to lift the Z upward. Here I'll zoom out a little bit, it doesn't need to be that zoomed in. Right about there, why not? This little tab, this one right here, pushes down on that. So we're going to see if that actually works. Powering on. Go ahead and raise the x-axis by one millimeter increments. Heard a click? That's good. That should be good. We are at 12 millimeters above the print bed. And now... Audio levels are still good. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. Oh, that is so sexy. Love it. Now I just got to readjust the bed and we are golden. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you saw, it's successfully installed and with a minor addition from a failed print, it works flawlessly. So I'll go ahead and uh, fix up the model and I'll post it when I post the rest of it. 
when uh, this video goes live, that model will be on Thingiverse. Just check the description for the link to it. If you have a maker farm and you want an upgrade or you want to see an upgrade, uh, go ahead and comment on it. I'll probably do it. I'm going to try and get this printer running about as great as possible. Uh, as about, because obviously it's me, it's never going to be perfect. Uh, yeah, other than that, we can just uh, head to the outro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hope you liked the video, but if you didn't, go ahead and dislike the video. Uh, put in the comments why. Also, as I said before, if you have a Maker Farm i3V, go ahead and tell me what upgrades you'd like to see me do. Or, you know, if you don't have one, tell me what upgrades you think might be cool. And I'll see if I'll fit them in. Other than that, click the subscribe button. If you haven't already. And... Have a nice day.